Hey, Shalom Maki, me Abba Shemel Shai, Baraka Thumb. To the brothers out there, little amount of sisters, worshiping the Heavenly Father in spirit and in truth, man. And I think we solid as a rock. I'm out there. Uh, first and foremost, before we start, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakai, Gadash. I'm going to say, Rakata Yahweh. Rakata Yahweh. Rakata Yahushai. Rakata Yahweh. Rakata Yahweh. Rakata Yahushai. All right, double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who taught his word. Why shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word, truth and sincerity. All right, um, you know, we want to thank Yahushai you know, for allowing us brothers to get together another week. All right, to teach his beloved word, you know, to edify his elect. That's right. All right, and as you guys can see, the title of this lesson is um, From Lost Sheep to Gathered Saints, okay? Because we, uh, you know, coming to this truth, you know, we all were, um, like I said, we were all Gentiles. That's right. All right, but the Lord has gathered us, uh, you know, with the word, man, you know? Um, starting with our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who opened the seals, all right, and, and um, you know, revealed the truth unto us, you know, which is a, which is a miracle in itself, man. That's right. You know, us waking up, um, coming back to our heritage, okay, and, um, you know, coming back as, as, as Israelites, who we really are, man, okay? Yes. Not not something that the, uh, the devil named us, you know, not Negroes, Latinos, okay, but our true nationalities that actually mean something, okay? So, um, you know, with that being said, Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying unto you, brothers, and uh, we're going to start in uh, Isaiah, the 46th chapter. That's right. This is uh, Isaiah 46 and 9. It says, Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am the Most High, and there is none like me. Yeah, that's right. So the Lord said, Remember the former things of old, man. You know? So, you know, that's that's to us brothers going into the, uh, the uh, really the whole Bible, man. You know? The Old Testament and the New, man. Oh, this is this is our true history here, man. That's right. You know? So that's why we go into it, man. You know? Yeah, even like uh, like remember the former things of old. You got to go all the way back to the what the Genesis, mm -hmm. the Genesis, all because right. that's where a lot of situations that we're currently in now, this current time, it stemmed from all the way from Genesis. Right, mm -hmm. that's yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it says declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times the things that are not yet done. Right, declaring the end from the beginning. So you know us us falling away us turning into that that lost sheep it was all planned from the beginning it right. was all the lord's plan okay that's why i uh, brought out this scripture first go ahead up so like it, bro. Precept. A quick precept. Yeah. this is uh romans uh eight and uh 20 yeah. for the creature was made subject to vanity mm -hmm. not willingly but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope right so the creature would mean in us we were subject to vanity not willingly, meaning that we didn't want to go off, all right, but the Lord uh, subjected us to hope until these end times, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, he wanted us to, to believe in these end times, you know, and, you know, everything happens for a reason. He, he wanted us to go through this, you know. Yeah. That's Before right. he blesses us tremendously, man. Yeah. He's going to rain eternal blessings upon us. So before that, you know, we were dealing with that stony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but pretty soon we're going to be reprogrammed to get, you know, the heart of flesh. Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. quick one. Yeah, quick one. Uh, Job chapter 8 and 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to search of their fathers. That's right. Inquire thee. Inquire means to search. Okay, inquire thee of the former age, okay, which of our forefathers, man. Right? You know, how they, they have overcome with faith. That's right, that's right. Look at how our forefathers did and how they were overcome with faith, how they trusted in the Lord, <laughs> okay, right. no matter what, you know. Yeah, you know, you look at our, our forefathers' history, they, they went through some shit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and, and you can apply it to today, you know, with you brothers and your few sisters out there, what y'all going through, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it's nothing new under the sun, that's right, you know okay, bro. Want to finish on this? Yeah. Yeah, going back to Isaiah 46 and 10. It says, Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Right. The Lord counsel shall stand and he will do all his pleasure, man. Okay, and that's and that's what he did with us, man. You know, turned us from lost sheep, all right, and gathered us unto saints, all right, by Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, man. Okay, through this through his knowledge, man. You know? So from there, let's get um, 
Deuteronomy 28 and uh, start at uh, 15 and then jump to verse. Uh, okay. <clears throat> it's Deuteronomy 28 and 15. You said through what? Uh, 15 and then you can jump to verse 48. Okay. Huh. It's uh, It says, But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. That all the curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. So, you know, brothers, know this chapter. This is the chapter of the curses, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. that, that came upon our whole nation as a whole, man. Northern and Southern. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, like the brother brought out in Romans 8, 8 chapter. If it was up to us, we wouldn't have wanted to went off. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it was all in the Lord's plan for us to uh, to go off. To fall know? away. To fall sure. away. Like said, falling away first, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You know? So, um, could you read that again now? Yep. It says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. So, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, you know? And we're going we're gonna to read a couple of the curses that, that came upon us, all right, that had us, you know, turn into that lost sheep, Okay. It's Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness mm -hmm. and in want of all things. Right. And that's, you know, that happened to us, you know, in past captivities and buried to this day, to this very day. Yeah. You know, we, we go to the enemy, okay, and our main enemy now, okay, is this so-called white man, Esau, Edom. All right, his, his biblical nationality in the scriptures. Yeah. Okay, we go to him <coughs> for the want of all things. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Um, as, as, as well as the, the other nations, you know? Go ahead, up. It says, And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Right, a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And that's what happened to us in the time of slavery. You know, you can look that up on Google right now. You know, just type in um, yeah, yoke, of iron. yoke of iron. You know, yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah, slavery yeah. pictures. Yeah, yeah. you'll see an Israelite there, okay, with a yoke of iron upon his neck. Uh -huh. You know, and uh, you might say, well, we ain't got that today. Well, the yoke of iron today is is, is in your mind, man. Yeah, right. You know, our people, they, you know, shackled they shackled mind. in their mind, man. You know? Because uh, check out the yoke of irons. Um, you had yoke of iron that was just to get the, the slaves to where you wanted to uh, transport them to. But then you had yoke of irons that would stop the slaves from um, right. being able to escape. Yeah. Mm. Now, the, like you said, you, a chick may say, well, where's this, where's these yoke of irons at now? Right. It's mentally. You cannot escape. Right. Um, just like those yoke of irons were preventing you from escaping, you cannot escape this system. Right. Nope. Even if you try, you right. know, you can't escape. Can't escape. I got a scripture. Oh. This is uh, Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Where do knowledge come from? And, you know, it, you got to... It, you know, it starts in the mind, man. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? You're destroyed for the lack of it. It yeah. says, uh, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's you know right. I mean? mm -hmm. So it says we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. Our, our people has no, no structure, mm -hmm. okay? Therefore, they are destroyed, you know? When you take away the structure away from anything, Okay, it, it, it becomes destroyed, man. You know, and, and the, the knowledge that our people is lacking is, is, the, is the knowledge of the Lord, man. Right. And the you know, wisdom. Every, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. The scripture said this will be your wisdom inside the nations. Mm -hmm. So our people left off from life, you know, and, and went into the congregation of the dead. But we were forced to through our captivity, you know. Mm -hmm. It was all a part of, you know, the Lord's plan. That's mm -hmm. right. Could you get that scripture you just quoted it? Which one? Uh, in the Congregation of the Dead. Okay, Proverbs. Yeah. 16 think. and 4, uh, 14? I think it's maybe uh, like 14, 16, 21. Yeah, I think it is 21. Is it 21? I know it, it says it twice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, 16. 16. It's uh, Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right. The man that wanted by the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right. And that's our people, man. Okay. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street, all right, mm -hmm. which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. That's, mm -hmm. that's it right here in America, man. Okay. Our people are spiritually dead, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and the Lord has blessed us to be alive, okay, mm -hmm. waking us up through his knowledge, man, mm -hmm. giving us that, that breath, you know? Right. 
Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord quickened us. Yeah, quickened us to be made alive. Yep. I got a precept for you, out. Come on. This is uh, Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. Mm -hmm. All they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. Right. Such as leave it shall die. All right. And that's that's the whole book, man. You know what I mean? All right. Could you read that from the top again? Yep. It says, this is the book of the kind of, uh, Salaki. Mm -hmm. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. And the law that endure forever, man. All right. The Lord's word is forever. That's right. Okay. It ain't uh, just uh, for, for a season or that was back then or that's how the Lord used to be. No. Yeah. The Lord is forever, man. That's all right. right. It says, all they that keep it shall come to life. All they that keep it shall come to life. All right? And that's what we've done. We, we actually came to life. Okay? You know? Because if you don't have this word, you, you're really dead out here, man. Yeah. You know? But such as leave it shall die. Such as leave it shall die. And that's what happened, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we uh, fell away from, you know, uh, the righteous ways, man. And adopted, mm -hmm. you know, the ways of these nations, man. Yeah. You know, the scriptures say that the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seduce him. Mm -hmm. So we've been seduced over this captivity, man. Mm -hmm. Looking at Esau, he, like he got it figured out. They ain't got nothing figured out, man. Right. You know, come to find out he's the wicked on the earth. Yeah, right. You know? Right. He's a, he's a wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. That's right. right. You know, he don't have nothing to do uh, with this book, even though he claims to be a Christian. Yeah. You know what I mean? He claims to be all holy either thou, mm -hmm. you know? Calls himself a Jew. Calls himself a Jew. <laughs> you know, took our heritage. Yeah, man. You know? But this guy is really the devil, man. That's you know, it. Right? Yeah. You know? The only thing you got to do with this book is that you are the devil that's in it. That's <laughs> right, <man>. The <laughs> evil that's, that's right, within it. That's it. That's yeah. you. That's right. And you try to run from that because that's what Esau is about. He's about running from his identity. Mm -hmm. right. But um, like the scriptures say in uh, 2 Thessalonians, we you should be re uh, revealed with the... Uh, with the uh, consume, consume with the spirit of his mouth. Spirit of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So you can run and hide all you want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The yeah. Lord is on us to say no. It's him. Yeah. It's him. Right. <laughs> it yeah. is this man. You know? Yeah. Any more yeah. Any precepts? Uh, um, if not, we can go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28 yeah. and uh, yeah, 48. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want me to start from the top again? Come on. Come on. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. It's, it reads. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he hath destroyed thee. Yeah, that's right. So this is what happened to us as a nation, okay? And, and ultimately um, caused us to be uh, that lost sheep, mm -hmm. okay? You know? So from there, let's get on... Um, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. That's the mm -hmm. spirit, man. Huh, because the Lord prophesied this, man. You know, right. this is what happened to us. You know? This uh Jeremiah 7. I don't know if you had it, Abijah. No. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Mm -hmm. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Read it again, though. It says. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from the heritage that I gave thee. Like the Lord said, he was going to um, discontinue us from our heritage, which he gave us. Can we look up that word heritage? Uh -huh. I just kind of want to, you know, look it up, you know. Because that, you know, our heritage includes our language. That's it. You know, um, our, our law, statutes, and commandments, you know, which was, you know, very important to us, man, you know. Our language. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, the Hebrew. Because if we lost the last one for Das. <laughs> The name of the name of the Lord are in, you know, in the yeah. last one with us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Therefore, like in the book of Judges, you know, we're going in captivity, he's calling the name of the Lord to deliver us. Mm -hmm. We wasn't able to call on the Lord this, right. this time. Right. Yep. You know, and it's, and it's power in those names, you mm -hmm. know. And that's why our people, they still have that zeal. To this day, they got a zeal, you know. Yeah. It's, it's our people, the one in these churches, mm -hmm. you know, trying to call on uh, Jesus. And, you know, it, it's, it's our people in there. And they may be sincerely wrong, you know what I mean? And some of them just wicked as hell, you know? Right. But some of them are sincerely wrong, though. You know what I mean? Majority of them sincerely wrong. Come, come. Right, because we was once sincerely wrong. Yeah. Come, come. Mm -hmm. yep. you know come. The yep. Lord just happened to have more Mercy. willing, you know, grace. chosen us. Mm -hmm. But we of that chosen, and the Lord took us out. But we remember that state that we were in. Yeah. Yeah. We was really believing that we, we were serving the Lord. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, that... 
in hope that we're serving the Lord. And we remember that feeling of like, man, I just, you know, I just want to serve the Lord. Yeah. And that's, we could know by us knowing that and ha having that feeling of like, yeah, you know, we know that there are people is in that same feeling. The Lord just mm -hmm. ain't grabbed them out. Mm -hmm. Like he grabbed us out. Right? That's how I say, uh, what, six? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I got that. If you want it right now? Uh, the heritage? Yeah. Come on. Yep, this uh the word heritage in the uh the the, the Hebrew it goes back to H fifty one fifty nine. The Hebrew word is uh nakala, nakala. And it says possession property. It says inheritance portion. Right. Mm -hmm. Our inheritance our, our portion, man. Right? You know? That's that's what the Lord said we was gonna discontinue from, you know? Because in, in, in our other captivities, you know, we still knew who we were, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. But in, in this captivity, okay, we, we lost everything, everything, yeah, everything yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. I was just thinking about it as you were saying all that. Inherit, when you think about inheritance, really what it's saying is God-given rights. Mm -hmm. That's what inheritance is because mm -hmm. even other nations have God-given rights. Yeah. Whatever the Lord, Yahweh, Abba Yahweh, by Hashem Shai has said is your portion, that's your inheritance, mm -hmm. you know, because even like dealing with the Horites, that they were the ones that was living in Mount Seir before Esau got that land. Right. Mm -hmm. But they went to battle and Esau took that land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Esau was destined to have that land. That was his inheritance. That's what the Heavenly Father said. Look, this is where I'm going to put you. So that's what inheritance is. It's, it's your God given right. What the Lord basically created you to um your portion right uh, and this in on earth he was going to say something there oh, no. oh, okay yeah, uh, lamentations five and one remember O lord what has come upon us consider and behold our reproach our inheritance is turned to strangers mm -hmm. our houses to aliens mm -hmm. yeah and that's and that's what happened to our inheritance man it says it's turned to strip the strangers okay uh, other nations taking up on our 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 um, inheritance, our heritage, okay, and, and calling it their own, man. You know, right. and our and we we're telling our people, no, this is this is our inheritance, right. or this is this yeah. is us, the people of the scriptures. That's us. It's our history. Yes, right? yes, it's but us. They don't they don't want to listen. You know. Yep. Right. I got. Yep. I got a piece out. Mm -hmm. okay. Was it more than more than that too? Uh, uh, no, that was it right there, bro. Okay. I'm going to jump further The Lord gave all inheritance unto Jacob. Oh, do was it? Deuteronomy 32 and 8? 32 and 8. That's what I want to grab. Yeah. That, that'll that back up what we're saying right now. That, that your inheritance really is what the Lord gave you. And you can't do shit about it. Yeah. You're going to be how the Lord said that what rolls in your blood, which is your life, your DNA makeup. Your, your DNA makeup is programmed. It's like a computer program. Whatever your DNA makeup is to do, you're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Just like a, just like our phones do what we program it to do, man. Right, right. And you can't go outside that. If yeah. you're meant to be a goop, you're gonna like your fucking, you're gonna like poisonous blowfish and shit. <laughs> Squids and shit. Right. That's, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I saw he was uh created for the day of evil. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he he has no other option. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it, bro. I got you too. Uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. It says, When the Heavenly Father divided to the nations their inheritance. Right, right. Their God given right. Yeah, bro. Not just the land. Not just the land we're talking about here. We're talking about their attitude, how they carry themselves, what they decide, what is right and wrong, all that little stuff, man. Morality, moral compass. When the Lord gave uh, the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set a balance of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Oh, wow. That's right. Right. So the Lord's portion is his people, man. It's his people. You know? Mm -hmm. that's, that's beautiful, man. You know? The water of Yahweh El Shai, we're Israelites, you know? Bro. Yeah. I want to, if I could. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. <clears throat> Just real fast. It's uh, Exodus 29 and 45. It says, And I will dwell among the children of Israel, and I will be their power. And they shall know that I am the Lord, their power, mm -hmm. that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. I am, it says, Slaki. 
that I may dwell among them. I am the Lord, their power. Mm -hmm. The Lord said it three times. Uh -huh. You know, in Numbers, I remember the Apostle Kabar did a video. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the Lord deals in threes uh -huh. a lot. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? So the Lord said it three times. I am the Lord, their power. So the, hey, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father is our power. You know what I'm saying? That's right, bro. You know? So, right. hey, man, you can't change that. You could try to squeeze in there, but at the end of the day, you we gonna like who is this? Who is this chump? Right. Mm -hmm. right. We ain't supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know. That's our, go. That's our power. The Lord is for us, not y'all. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? mm -hmm. Malachi uh, six, real quick. You know, like the brother said, the, the Lord don't change. You know. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. You see, Esau, he he can't be good. Period. Yeah. And then it says if he ever do anything good, it's because he has a um he's basically have a secret motive yeah. on but why he does it. Right, right. It says watch him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. he's secretly trying to overthrow me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Don't he humble it himself. <laughs> Don't he humble it himself. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead now. Uh, Malachi chapter three, verse six. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. That's right. Yeah. So the Lord ain't never changed. Mm -hmm. Hey, never yeah. changed. <laughs> you know, the Lord said, hey, he is our power, man. Yeah. You know, and that and that's still to this day. You know, what the, when we went to slavery, it says that the Lord uh, didn't do it for, to destroy us, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, right. it's because we moved him to wrath. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah remember days who, days who uh, was not... Supposed to drink it of cup, have yeah, surely and drunk it. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Lord never told us when you read in the, in the law, the, it's never a law saying do evil. Mm -hmm. right. he it said, was, yeah. He my said, so like, no, he but said, he'll never give us a liberty to, to sin. Yep, yeah. license to do license sin. License, so, yep, yeah. yeah. so how is it that we're drinking in this cup? Right. So it's kind of just like one of them things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, this brother's going to get um, the fourth chapter, unless y'all brothers got a quick one. Yeah, man, because, you know, the Lord breaks down everything, man. You know, he gives you reason why. That's why the, the Bible is, is, is supreme, Supreme, man. It stands alone, you know what I mean? Because the Lord uh, uh say something, but then he'll tell you why. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is why I'm doing this, you know? And the details on everyday life. That's right. You can jump from century to century, it's going to detail it. Huh? Yeah. You know, you can be in the 1700s, still going to. Mm -hmm. Talk about you every day. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. You know? yeah. No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and this is what this damn devil Esau is trying to take out, take out of the world, man. You know, I was driving earlier. Um, it's right by that um, spot, Gen X. Yeah, I'm talking about on twentieth, twentieth and like uh, J. Yeah, I know you're talking about. You know, it used to be a a, a Bible bookstore right there. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. That was a Bible was a for, strict for strictly for like Christian Bibles mm -hmm. or whatever, you know. And it's just vacant now. You know uh, what I mean? Right. Yeah, because, uh, you know what I was going to say? I know you were going to say. You remember there used to be the Christian bookstore? Yeah, Christian yeah. bookstore. Yeah. I knew yeah. you were thinking the yeah. same thing. Yeah. Yeah. They moved it yeah. from, you know, the city we in, and they moved it to the next city over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they even lost, then the city over even lost all, basically they just lost the whole um, business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not even, it, out there it's just a, it's just a vacant video, uh, vacant uh building as well yeah man so we see what this man's trying to do he's trying to take the heavenly father totally out the picture you know in right. the sun while you have a shot you right. know right yep. and just have he he be your god you yeah. know right mm -hmm. you know satan worship just satan worship worship yourself worship this yep. worship that mm -hmm. you know instead of worshiping you know uh, your creator through his son yeah. you know your house shot man right and, uh, out of all the all that has been going on going down the the pandemic you know everything that's been going down he has he has not mentioned the heavenly father yeah and when he mentioned the heavenly father it's on the negative it's on the negative god didn't do this i did this i heard on cnn a house divided by itself should not stand should not stand bro they made a monopoly remember they was making diverse monopoly it may be at the mario it may be at their uh shit whatever character but then they made one after of the times and it was a house divided cannot stand. Right. Not so they know. They know. They know. They know. Yeah. And remember, the elites, they're playing Monopoly. Monopoly, the actual game Monopoly is based off of what they're actually doing in society, bro. Real life, yeah. 
It's real life. And they created into a board game. Yeah. And it was one. Remember that Monopoly was called yeah, House the House of House of Party. I remember. They <laughs> put it on the phone. Uh, yeah, you know what I put it, bro. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I had seen it myself. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah it was a house divided. I remember they had it at Walmart. At Walmart. It was at Walmart. Yeah, I seen it. I was like, oh, shit. A, a house divided. divided. I had to take a picture of that, bro. Yeah. 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 This brother um, got a word real quick. Yep. Yeah. This is the word indivisible. Right. So indivisible. I was mm. thinking this the other day because remember in uh, grade mm. school, mm. they had you mm. said a pledge of allegiance. Mm. And one of the words would be this word. Yeah. Indivisible, indivisible under God. Indivisible under God. Justice for all. Something like that. Oh, liberty and justice for all. Liberty and justice, and liberty and justice for all. all. Some shit. And yeah. I was thinking like that. And they wow. said one nation under God. I remember that part. Yeah. yeah. They took that out. Know, according to um, what I last remember. Damn. Yeah. You know? Yep. Let's yeah. look at this word indivisible. Yep. Indivisible it says unable to be divided or separated. Right. <laughs> and that's uh, and that's what America is. It's, yeah. it's not. It's, it's not. not it's not this definition. It's yeah. the exact opposite, yeah. man. You know, yeah, right. America is divided and it's separated, man. Yeah, right. Come you on, know? man. That's how the Lord get down when he before he breaks something up. Mm -hmm. He he make everybody go against each other. Yeah. Right. And this is in the so-called Pledge of Allegiance, man. Yeah. You know. Read it again now. It says, Indiv indivisible, unable unable to be divided or separated. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Unable to be divided or separated. Like so, that so that's what they had plans for this for this so-called country. But it's nothing but division and separation. I got that's you. It, you know? I got you that one. Uh, it's uh, Luke 11 and 17. It says, but he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Right, and a house divided against a house falls. Mm -hmm. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Right, and that's this kingdom here, man. It's divided against himself, man. And and Satan uh, runs this kingdom, man. All right, in order to get any type of success in this place, you gotta, you gotta, gotta bow down to Satan, man. You, you know, Yahweh Shai said it in uh, what's that? Luke the fourth chapter, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So all these so-called celebrities and you know people who have things in this life. You know, they they talking about um like Mayweather. I'm trying to do uh, uh generational, generational wealth. wealth. You know, he had to bow down to Satan, man. Man, this dude, that's all you talk about. It's and anything but money. Money. Like, up, man. Right. Right. Shut, shut up, man. Right by this and happening. Shut up, man. I got it. Oh, like it bro. I was just gonna say it ain't generational wealth. It's generational wealth for you for your yeah. line. You that's, know, that, that, that right. that's not generation. It's not generation. Generational is all the generations. All the generations. The generation of, you know, you bringing it for the next generation to come. Mm -hmm. I got a quick one mm -hmm. from the comment board. It's for us, uh, brother, uh, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Mm -hmm. It's Isaiah 19 and 2. It says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight Ooh. everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Right, and this is the modern day Egypt <clears throat> right now, man. All right, yeah. so when they say the Egyptians, it's talking about this place, America, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, this is the modern day Egypt, okay? It says, and, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor. And that's what you see here, man. Yeah. This whole kingdom is divided, man, all right? This is an example that popped in my head right now is with this so-called <clears throat> um, um, the jump shot, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. You know? People are uh, still divided on that to this day, mm -hmm. you know? Um, still to this day? Still bro. to this day, man. Okay. Yeah. I, I got a quick one. Yeah. It's uh, 2nd Edges 13 and 31. It says, and one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, mm -hmm. and one realm against another. Right. So this is prophecy, man, that, yeah. that the Lord is going to divide this place, man, you know? So he said it came to bring the vision. Yes, came right. to bring the vision, yeah. man. You know, so ain't nothing you can do about it, man. Okay? Mm-hmm. So um brother's got anything else? No, nah, this brother's gonna <coughs> Oh, you can go first? Oh, you can hit your preset first and then oh. uh, Jeremiah 51 and 46. Unless your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land, a rumor shall both come one year, and after that. In another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land, ruler against <coughs> ruler. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, so pretty much violence in the land of Babylon. 
You know, because right. of the division, everybody want Trump, everybody want, well, nobody want Biden no more. <laughs> Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Yeah. Political, yeah. Uh, political division. Yeah, you know, but they wanted them. Brothers. Our people wanted them when he was running. Right. Right. When he was running, though. Yeah, oh, we yeah. agree, though. We agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now they're calling for, um, they call it for uh, Trump to come back. Right. That's what's going on. But then I seen a motherfucking, uh, you know, do, doing what we do. I seen a motherfucking sticker that said, uh, <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Uh, I was like, God uh, damn, man. That's a man. Old That's yeah. old. Well, I like that no, but I seen it. I seen it a couple of days ago. Uh, it made me think that people are thinking about Bernie Sanders. That's an old sticker, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, this place is done, man. This, everybody is um, leaning on everything except for the Lord. I got you. Mm -hmm. It's Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go mm -hmm. down to Egypt for help yeah. and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, mm -hmm. neither seek the Lord. Oh, mm -hmm. that is it right there. It right there. Right. Yeah. You ain't seeking the Lord, man. Right. You know, instead of seeking the Lord, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai. You seeking the damn devil, man. Yeah. Which is your main enemy, man. Mm -hmm. right. You seeking this devil, and you ain't knowing that this is your devil because you're destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get knowledge because you're too busy trying to get money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who holds the money? Who holds, who has the power of the money right now? This yeah. damn devil, man. Yeah. So you're trying to you're trying to be cool with the devil to get uh the luxuries of the world, man. Yeah. Instead of seeking the, the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't like to wait for things. You want your money now when the Lord said, we staking our treasures in, in heaven. heaven, man. man. In heaven, you know? <clears throat> That's right, man. Except you know? It makes me think of uh, back when, in, in 2020 when they had the elections. You know, our people were like, damn, they, they both evil. The uh, Biden and that's Trump. That's yeah, that's bro, that was just, there was some uh, yeah, picked up the, the better good, I mean, the better the evil. evil. That's, 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 that's what they say, yeah, yeah, yeah bro. But the Lord don't even pop in their mind, not even one time, like, not yeah. one time, bro. <laughs> like, man, not one you know? time. But that's why, uh, was it Jeremiah, the second chapter, it says, my people have forgotten me days, days without number. number. Oh. oh, yeah, we're going to get that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I, yeah, oh, Baruch chapter 4 and uh, verse 6. I, I think <clears throat> verse 1. He was sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because he moved Yahweh by Shimei Oshai to wrath. Right, going back to uh, uh, like we were saying earlier, uh, while we were sold into slavery. This is this is the, the why right here. While we were sold into slavery, you know? It says, um, not for our destruction, but because we moved the heavenly father to wrath. Go ahead, I. Ye were delivered unto you, unto the enemies, mm -hmm. for he provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. Right, sacrificing unto these other gods, man. Okay. <clears throat> um, one of the, uh, is it the first commandment or? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's the first commandment. Yeah, yeah. you got no other god before. Yeah, yeah. Right? You should have yeah, no yeah, other yeah. gods before Yahweh by Shimei man. Mm -hmm. You know, it says he is a jealous power. It's right? Jealous power. You know. Mm -hmm. So that, yeah, you know, we're we're the heavenly Father's woman, right? You know. Uh -huh. Imagine your your woman, um, you know, trespass against you. Mm -hmm. You gonna be jealous as hell, right? Age of man, yeah. yeah. You know, bust her, yeah. it, bro. That's right. Or you gonna try? You know, and that's what the Lord did to us as a whole, as a nation. And this world try to make it seem like uh, being jealous is wicked. Yeah, yeah. Like it's yeah. evil. Nah, man, you you rightly uh, angry. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's 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 a uh, righteous anger, man. Yeah, you know, the Lord that's said he's true. jealous, man. He's jealous. You know, that's an emotion that he made. You okay. Call okay. you insecure or some shit. Nah, I'm okay. This shit don't make no sense. Like, here it is that why are they wanting you to turn off an emotion that's naturally there? Right. That don't make no I fucking waiting, sense. Man. You know? And then that. Fucking women are evil. It's a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but I said you fucking women are evil. Just evil. Just adding to it. Hate, the, like the hate. People, you ain't supposed to hate. Why the fuck is it there then? Why right. is it there? Right. You know? You know? It's just a place for it. Yeah, it's a place for it. It's, it's just like it's a place to be happy at. Right, right, right. Time for everything. All right, quick one. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Jeremiah 17 and uh, 13. O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth 
because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living water. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be you're gonna be through. You're gonna be you're gonna turn back to the dust uh uh that you came from because you have forsaken the fountain of living waters. Which water is 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 life, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you forsaken the heavenly father, man. Mm -hmm. and, and followed after the damn the enemy, the devil, the weak man, the, the base man of the earth, man. The wicked shit on the earth, man. Mm -hmm. This is who you following after, man. Over some some printed money. Man. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that ain't even real. <laughs> well, it's not even real money, bro. Well, it's, you know, face. It's, not, it's not even gold. It's not even they they fall out of the greenbacks. Mm -hmm. The 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 uh the uh uh what they say uh uh, uh them debt notes. Yeah, debt notes. Yeah, debt yeah, notes. You know. Debt books. Bite me. You know. That's debt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, back in that, brother. We read this last week. This is 2 Maccabees uh, 6 and 12. Now I beseech those that read this book, that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, <coughs> but for a chastening of our nation. Mm. Yeah. Well, read that last part here. Yep, it says, it what says, Now I beseech those that read this book, that they be not discouraged for these calamities, mm -hmm. but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, mm -hmm. but for a chastening of our nation. Right, so going back to uh, Brute Form 6, this wasn't for our destruction, but for the chastening of our nation. Right, like we read earlier, the Lord doesn't change. Right. That's why you sons of Israel, you're not consumed. Not consumed. Right, bro. You know, because, hey... If it was up to Esau, we would have been wiped out a long time ago, man. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. that's been his plan from the jump. Right. You know, eugenics programs, all of this, they're making a big deal about these abortions and all of this shit. Mm -hmm. wow. But it's to kill eugenics, to murder eugenics. Murder. Right. And a woman is full blown like they only want to get it done. They own it, bro. They own it. Hey, bro, so like, they just made a, um, a law, and they made about it. They passed it. They're trying to pass it to give women housing, money, and um, pay for all of their travel to come to California and get an abortion. That's because they know it's oh, mostly shit. gay babies yeah. that they, that they, that, that, uh, that's that's being aborted. Yeah. I seen this Edomite woman, she said, if y'all have a baby, she was she was on the, uh, you know, giving a speech and shit, if y'all have a baby, you go to the abortion clinic and you have that fucking bastard suck out of you. Yeah. And all the women yeah. was like, yeah. yeah. Eating my woman, yeah. Yeah. Wow. You seen that shit? Yeah. Wow. Bro, I was like, man, shit don't make no fucking sense, bro. Wow. And they was like, they was cheering for it, bro. Mm -hmm. I know. I like, that was there. crazy, bro. That shit was crazy. And these bitches get abortions. I remember piping this bitch. Uh, I had to be 17. <laughs> piping this bitch. She had like two, three abortions already. Damn. Now, she, so she had to be about She 17. was like 16. Oh, damn. See? Already had abortions, man. That's crazy. You know? And uh, just to let you know, yes, abortion is murder. Yeah, it's murder. murder. And you don't need a, a parent consent either. Right. Just just when you uh, look under a microscope, or not even a microscope, I'm sorry, when you look at a video before the semen even reached the egg, there's life, you dumb, you fucking assholes. Man. It's life. It's a battle just to get to the egg. Right. It's already life. If it's already life, that means that you're already committing murder. Because these women like to say, well, because uh certain weeks. It's it's not alive yet. Motherfucker, the semen been alive, you dumbass. Yeah. But they don't believe that men produce life. They believe that they produce life. They, 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 that's why the Lord's going to just stop everything in his tracks. Because the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomites of the Bible, who's been a wicked since the beginning, have tricked your mind to believe in something that ain't right, man. Right. It ain't right. And, and you want to know how you know it ain't right? Because you got that same feeling in your mind when you get an abortion. You ain't going around talking about, yeah, girl, I just got an abortion. Mm -hmm. You ain't doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. Those are things you keep in secret. Why you keep them in secret? Because they're wrong. Because right. they, they oh, keep that to the wow, grave. Bro, they they keep it to the grave because it's wrong. Because it's wrong. So you can, you, can, uh, you can fool yourself all you want, but that's why you have the, the ones that's up, that set up in the right position to let you know that shit ain't right. Right. They're gonna remind you. They rather uh, go and murder their child uh, uh, instead of stop having sex. Bro, that's the ultimate 
Absent or they call it abstinence. Yeah. That's the ultimate birth control. That's it. Stop having. Stop bouncing on all these rods. Yeah, you know, you don't right. want you don't want no baby. Stop bouncing on rods. Right. Stop having sex with people you ain't supposed to have sex with. Right. Man. You know. Stop treating sex um, in the excess. It's not or uh, uh, mistreating sex. Yeah. Like casual sex. Abusing it. Abusing sex. You Fresh dumbass. Yeah. Sex. You know. It really abortion adultery because like you can hide from your husband. That you've been pregnant with another man. <laughs> That's right, bro. So many layers to that shit, bro. It's yeah. a lot. So the, the best birth control is not to have sex. That's right. I got two scriptures. <laughs> cause I cause I uh I had screenshot and brother had posted this in the chat. Um like the, the elder brother Brock just put um uh hookup culture. Yeah, the hookup culture. It's a hookup culture. It's just insane, man. Fucking um What's that app called? Uh, what? What's that <laughs> Tinder. Oh, Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> like, that's like, all that shit is. Yeah. That shit, shit just look up, bro. Up. Ain't nobody looking for no mate. <laughs> oh, no, they, you know what I'm saying? They looking, no. for, they looking for pop something, man. Even yeah. though Christian mingle. Christian. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hear Christian just hooking up. Yeah. Under the disguise that you, you're a, a person of godly. the Lord. Shit. Yeah, you're godly. I got, I got two scriptures. This is uh, Leviticus 18 and 21. It says, And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, mm. neither shalt thou profane the name of thy power. Mm. I am the Lord. You right, Esau's well, going to take that baby mm -hmm. that you aborted, and he's going to he use it for all type of shit, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Wow. This ain't, it. This ain't it like a, when you flush a turd down the toilet and it just goes into the wherever. Mm -hmm. No. You flush and Esau fucking gathering in the, in the abortion. You flushing them out and he starts taking that and doing something with it. Studying it. Yeah. All type of shit. Yep. I got another one. This is Exodus 23 and 26. It says, um, I'll just read it from here. It says, There shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days will I fulfill. Mm -hmm. And the brother looked up um, cast um, I, I believe it's cast or it's, oh uh, yeah, but it's going on the chat on the chat. Yeah. I had screenshot of yeah. it. Yeah, it's cast. He looked it up in the Brown Driver Briggs definition. All right, and um, when you look it up, it says to be bereaved, to make childless. Mm -hmm. Okay, to so cause barrenness, wow. show barrenness, abortion. or abortion. Mm. Okay, so that's off, man. You know, yep. this yeah. had to come with that. And the brother just said, um, a brother showed me. Some information he said a lot of these women have to register under the church of Satan to get an abortion because the law don't affect them because it's religion practices so a lot of these women are gonna know that they're worshiping Satan and they can have an abortion mm. so the Lord is letting these women I mean these people choose and they're gonna choose Satan mm -hmm. I got one out it's Exodus 20 and 13 thou shall not kill <laughs> Which we know the word to kill is not kill, it's murder. That's yeah. right. Straight up. Thou shalt not murder, man. That's 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 blatant murder. That's murder, man. Uh of your own seed, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? That you chose. They wanna have them. they wanna uh live their best life, you know, so they do that. Right. If men, if men yeah. had that option of killing their seed, they wouldn't even do that, man. That's uh, men ain't program men ain't programmed like that. Only fucking women would do some evil shit like that, that's man. Right. Evil was and they hide it, man. You know, and then go out there and then get and, ha and make the same mistake again. Yeah, you know, it's some type of health effect. Well, they got all type shit. of demons on them, yeah, bro. Hell yeah, it's bro. Yeah, well, that shit come with a demon every time. Every time, the conscience is fucking with you. I mean, you know, I got a quick one, Art. Right? Yeah. So Genesis one and twenty eight. This is how you know it ain't right, because Genesis one and twenty eight, the twenty eight verse of the whole scriptures. It says, and the heavenly father blessed them and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and yep. subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the living thing that moves upon the earth. And that's bro, the same thing. I'm sorry. That's I, a lot, bro. The Lord didn't say divide and subtract. He said nah. increase. And that's the same thing he told <laughs> Noah, man, and his sons. When they came off the ark, yep. be fruitful and multiply, man. Yeah. But here it is, our women are just, man, they don't even know that, uh, uh, you know, this is a device of the devil. 
Uh, uh, Margaret Sanger, we don't want the word to go out that we want to uh, uh, exterminate the Negro population. It's deeper than your ass hopping on some ride and getting pregnant and you don't want the baby. Right. This is all set up, man. Right. Set up. That's why they plant those Planned Parenthoods in your fucking hoods, man. Yeah, right. 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 What's wrong with you, Jakes, man? Them shit's all uh, bulletproof. Bulletproof glass. You can't look. You can't see through. You can't see. And then, even even, even if you get in the building, you gotta. It's a. It's a doorbell on the door. You right. can't just walk in there freely. Right. You have to ring the doorbell and they answer you like, "Hello, what you here for? What are you here for?" Wow. What's That's how it is. Man. Motherfuckers, yeah. man. The Lord won't judge you, woman, man. Yeah. All you wicked ass murderers, man, yeah. that try to justify. Oh, what if I get raped? Yeah. Fuck you, man. Man, look, man, oh, look, man. That's all I say. You know, when, when, that's why the men of the Lord is coming. The heavenly fall, the Abashnal shot spirit is back on the earth, and it's on this man to put this earth back in order. Yeah. All that little nonsense of excuse, we're gonna, we're gonna, that shit gonna fly right over our ears like right. a, yeah, like somebody who, like a quarterback that threw a football to right. fall. Right. We ain't listening to that shit. Right. And that's why y'all don't want uh, uh, slack it, see? Yeah, yeah. That's why y'all don't want uh, your man. The Israelite man to come back into power. Right. Because we're going to check this shit. Check yeah. all that shit. Man. I'm sorry. They were yeah. celebrating Kevin, Kevin Samuels dying. So. Yeah. They yeah. sure was. Oh, they were oh, telling you about your yeah, ass, man. Bro. Right. But I was going to say, how many of them actually get raped and go and get that's, pregnant and get a, a board of baby? Get the fuck out of here, man. That's not that's how you like know. 1%. Right. It's like, that's how you know it's a silly it's excuse. It's silly excuse. Yeah. They go right over here. Nah, nobody listening to that and shit. And if you, if you was raped, what type of environment was you in? Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, what was you right. doing? What was you doing? You know? I was out at, I was walking home at 2 o'clock at night. Oh, with the pussy shit. print out. <laughs> All right. Okay. The fuck out Provoking of here. Provoking men. Yeah. Okay. But hey. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you, you said you got something? Um, did you finish? <laughs> yeah. You finished uh, shit yeah, gonna yeah. stop one day, man. That's all that it's not taking stop. accountability yeah, bro. will stop. Oh, God, yeah, that's right, man. The Lord gonna discontinue this society, man. <laughs> discontinue. Uh, right. well, what movie I just seen? Oh, I seen Northman. I just seen Northman. Right. And back then, the oh, women yeah. were in fucking check. Right. right. This is what we're going back to, women. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's only in this recent 19th century that y'all asses just stepped out of line. Uh -huh. I got a quick one. <laughs> this uh, Sirach 25 and. Uh, 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Woo! Mm. Women are fucking. I mean, we're all inherently wicked in this flesh, but you women are on a whole other level of wicked, man. Mm. The type of shit women would do, men wouldn't dare to do, man. Yeah. You know, and I'm speaking from experience, man. We're not programmed like that. You know, a man ain't gonna try to go out his way to destroy your whole life. But a woman would. Yeah, they go. A woman have to move yeah, on. a woman would destroy your whole fucking life, man. They you call know? it uh, petty. That's yeah, they call it yeah, that's, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, put whatever label on it. On it, you fucking evil, man. Yeah, man. You know, but fuck these women, you know. Yes, sir. And the scripture says all wickedness, but the little, little to the, the wickedness, wickedness of a woman. woman. You know, and in the wickedness of a woman, man, it goes. It runs it goes deep, deep, bro. It, yeah. it runs deep. They don't. And you see fuck. how we saying it runs deep. Yeah. What say giving the the hey no passage no passage yeah yeah, yeah. but that's spiritual bro that yeah. we saying it runs deep right right when right. the scriptures say uh in verse twenty five it's uh uh so Ecclesiastes twenty five and twenty five give the give the water no passage uh. neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad bam. All women are wicked, bro. But Esau give a wicked woman liberty, liberty. to gather bride. To gather bride. More liberty than anybody. That's yeah. why we uh, video of us put out, I, which I had seen earlier, um, the nigga woman just basically boasting right. themselves. They was lining up going to oh, some yeah. type yeah. of... I don't know what uh, the fuck they were going to. Maybe the Bad Girls Club or some yeah, shit. Yeah, something like, like that. Vivica, I was looking it up. It was Vivica Fox, and she yeah. was hosting yeah. a party to celebrate the dude's death. Wow. Uh, she was similar because uh, I've seen so um, I seen the captain say uh, Kevin Samuels, with Kevin Samuels in it. Wow. I seen Curry Holcomb cussing out that bitch over that. Like that. Yeah, y'all gonna wow. follow Vivica Fox? Y'all don't even know what the half, the half of the shit Vivica Fox and did behind the scene. Y'all don't know. Shit, look at her face. Yeah, 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 you, look at her face already. You, 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 you man. Yeah, it's like you start. Then you start getting your emotion when you start. Man, see, man. 
Man, man, man. yo. We got to just stick to the scriptures, but because this is meant to happen, but man, watch when the Heavenly Father allow us to uh, be the ones uh, to, to orchestrate judgment. Mm -hmm. Just watch you motherfuckers. Right. Your ass is tripping. Yeah. And you know you deserve an ass whooping, but your ass is under the, uh, the, uh, the, the spell of Esau, and you think that everything is just going to be fine. Right. You got something coming, man. What the fuck? Vivica Fox threw that shit? I didn't even see him. Now I'm putting it together, yeah, man. It was, it was her, bro. Wow, man. This woman is out of her. That's this old crusty ass that's, bitch. That shows you how much these women hate us, man. That's what I was going to say. She that is my enemy. Yeah, she, gotta, she not with us. I got another one. Yeah. This is uh, Ciroc 25 and uh, uh, 19. All wickedness is but the... All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Mm. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All, but I got it for uh, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The woman, the woman, she, you know, a man might make a mistake, but she'll take that mistake like, motherfucker, you tried to get me, so I'm finna get you. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I simply made a, a honest mistake on something, you know, whatever the man's dealing with in a relationship, but she took it as you tried to, he tried fuck to me off yeah. or, you know what I'm saying? And she would yeah. take it like, okay, let's play that. And she would try to get her husband. She put his ass in jail, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This man in jail right now because they simply made a mistake. Yeah. But she took it as his war. Yeah, your mistake was trusting the wrong bitch. You know what I'm saying? They say, when they're not evil for evil. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't know that though. Man, that's crazy. They don't give a fuck. He saw us, he opened the gate for these dogs, man. Yeah, he had run loose, loose, man. Yo, who let the dogs out? He saw them, man. A pack of, a pack of bitches. A pack of Literally, bitches. Literally, like, the fuck? Dogs, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shit is madness. Y'all yeah, about to see that video? Y'all know. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. It was a recent video that came out a couple weeks back. Um, A chick got arrested because she used her PPP loan. Mm -hmm. To try to get her uh, dude off. Oh, to try to get her dude oh, killed off. Man. You know, she her ass, you see her mug shot with her goddamn weave hanging off. Oh, damn. damn. Fuck out of here, man. Actually, this shit finna actually. stop. That's right. It's getting more wicked because it's finna stop. You know, like, oh, we only got a couple seconds left. Everybody be wicked as shit as you can be. <laughs> right. And then next thing you know, it stops. It's finna stop, man. Yeah, that's, that's right. Stop, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's right. We can, uh, we can segue back. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Lord is angry on me. Yeah, like, look at our trip. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you dark as a Zion. We go all day with these fucking women, man. Yeah, because the spirit don't, it's not like we be Plan. trying to plan and get on women. Nah. The spirit just bring it right to you. Bro, you know the coldest part is? Women know how evil women are. Yeah, I remember right. being in the world, women were like, I don't like, I don't, I don't have no fuck with bitches. I don't fuck with yeah, fuck bitches. Out of here, yeah, you, fuck bitches. You know why, man. That's why women call other women bitches. Yeah. yeah. Man. Bitch. They know, you bro. Bitch. Other female friends. Yeah. They know, bro. You, man, you meet a new chick, and I bet you guarantee she's going to say the same thing. I don't have no female friends. We know why, bitch. That's right, man. Let's get on. Jeremiah 50 and 6, you know, segue back to the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, women of the board got mad, but we don't give a fuck. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, Somebody got mad, bro? No, no, I'm just, I already know. I, I guess they, you know, yeah, they just wicked. You know? <clears throat> <clears throat> this Jeremiah 50 and 6, it says, My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Mm -hmm. They have turned them away on the mountains. They, they have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their their resting place. Yeah, that's right. Could you be from the top again now? So, yep. Will you add up? <clears throat> it's Jeremiah 50 and 6. It says, My people have been lost sheep. Mm -hmm. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Right. And who's the Lord's people? Okay. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native uh, Native <clears throat> Americans, man. Right. Okay. You are the Lord's people, the Israelites. Okay. It says, um, read it again now. Yep. It says, My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Right, their shepherds have caused them to go astray. <clears throat> who, is, who is the modern day shepherds of our people? You know, just naming a, a couple names. You got uh, entertainers. Entertainers. Pretty much. Uh, Jesse Jackson. Yeah. Al Sharpton. You know, they're not leading our people to the to the right. 
Wait, man. Okay. They've been bought and paid for by the damn devil, man. A long time ago. A long time ago, man. Yeah. You know? Uh, 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 Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> you know? That, that dude, that dude ain't, you know? Or what's his name? Farrakhan? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that dude ain't leading our people the right way. He's like 90 years old. You know? He had, he had, uh, they, they believe in the Quran, but here it is. They always quote in the scriptures. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? He's a God, though. His spirit is, uh, is, is Israelite. He's connected to the yeah. you know, scriptures. You know? You know? <coughs> it's the only book that makes sense. You know? He all on the Buster Rhymes album, but he quote the scriptures, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait a minute, why don't you quote that other book? Oh, yeah. You know? So it says their shepherds have caused them to go astray. <clears throat> yeah. Go ahead, I, I got a quick one real fast. This is yeah. Jeremiah 14 and 13. Then say, I, I, Lord, power, behold, the prophet say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you a short peace in this place. Then the Lord said unto me, The promise prophesied lies in thy in my name. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught, and, <clears throat> and the deceit of their heart. Therefore thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name. I sent them not, yet they say, sword and famine shall not be this in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Ooh. Because what are they prophes what are they always saying? <clears throat> Peace. Peace, peace, shit. Peace. Right. They, they probably, they, they, they saying, they talking about money, right? You know, how prospering, prospering, mm -hmm. making it in this world, right? When the Lord said, "This is not our rest, man." Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you, yeah, yeah, you, you, you just speaking lies, man. Yeah. Yeah. You, you all paid, man. You all paid off, Jake. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, what is that swollen head dude name? Which one? <laughs> this is the little body. body. Oh. We just said his name. Uh, oh, uh, Al Sharpton? Al Sharpton. <laughs> Sharpton, old swole head, shriveled body head ass dude, uh, man. Yeah. You know he didn't lose that weight the right way. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, he, did, he, did, he, did, he took ass. a shortcut oh, because his head is still the same size. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, in the, in and he go all the way back to Luther, uh, uh, Luther King. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Luther King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Old <laughs> it's been, it's been, it's been uh, uh, proved that he's a CIA agent. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. an agent. He's an informant. You know, yeah. it's been proved. Yeah, they got pictures of him with uh, Martin Luther the King. Brothers in the can. Jesse Jackson too. Yeah, Jesse Jackson. Yeah, but uh, but you know, it's a, a point that I want to uh, say in that scripture. Could you read that scripture again? Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Coming to America. Yeah, coming to America. <laughs> Brothers know. <laughs> a little jump. Damn. This is, uh, <laughs> that was all Eddie Murphy, too. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah. That motherfucker, yeah, that motherfucker right there at the top. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jeremiah 50? Jeremiah uh, the last scripture that I thought was read. It was 15 6. 15 6? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. I, I remember the point, though, oh. if you don't remember the scripture. Because um, it says. They uh they prophesy in my name, yeah. you know. So that it goes to show you that it's false it's false prophets actually knows the Lord's name, yeah. you know. Yeah. How about Shimei was shot, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you can't listen to uh you know everybody that has you know the Lord's name because you got some false dudes out there. Right. You know what I mean? Dudes out there. Them niggas is on one. Them niggas get on nerve. You know they coming out with a new. Uh, they break always coming out with something new. You know what new I'm saying? Breakdowns new breakdowns and shit that down. don't make no sense. You know, your shy wasn't on, you know, he's Never not the white horse. What? You know uh, what I mean? What? That made absolutely zero sense. Zero sense, you know? And then Esau is not motherfucking white, you dumb fucks. Come on, man. Yeah. God this damn! Is right, man. <laughs> this is uh, Jeremiah 14 and 13. It says, Then said I, I, Lord Power, behold, the prophet say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you a short peace in this place. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesied lies in my name. Right. Like, they, yeah, they prophesied lies in the Lord's name. You know, because them dudes know the Lord's name. You know, but they prophesied lies, man. Okay? And, and the Lord's going to deal with them for that. You know? Right. 
That's why, hey, we, you know, we try to be on point with everything we say yeah. and we, 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 what we break down. That's right. Okay, because the Lord is going to require that, you know? Yeah. You know, because you leading his his sheep astray. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, bro. It says, then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. It says, neither have I commended them, mm -hmm. neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and the thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. Right, the deceit of their heart. So they're they speaking out of their own minds. Right. They're right. speaking out of, their, uh, of the spirit of the Lord, man. Okay, because the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shimon Shai, gave our apostles the correct breakdown, okay, of, of Revelation, the sixth chapter, man. Man, that's, that's like, come on, man. How you that's just too easy. When you just look into the uh, uh, the blue letter Bible of the word, it's, 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 um, it's Yahweh Shah. And yeah. the context of the scripture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The fuck? And then it's written again in Revelation, the 19th the chapter. 19th yeah. chapter. Let, let go your precept right Come there. On, you know? And Esau is not white. He's not white. Uh, you the know? fuck out of here. I'm so the one not white. white. You know? Yeah. I mean, red. Right. <clears throat> last, last verse. It's verse 15. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesied in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. Mm -hmm. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Man, so the same thing they say that's, that's, that's not coming. You know, you got uh, Jake saying there's no, going to be no Jacob's trouble. You know what I mean? So the same thing they say <clears> that's <throat> not coming is the same thing that's going to get them. You know, famine and destruction. We could go back to uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 50 and 6. 50. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah 50 and 6. It says, My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Mm -hmm. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Right. They have forgotten their resting place, man. Okay. Which is <clears throat> which is the Lord, man. Yeah. Okay. This is this is the only place you get rest, man. Right. You know? His word, man. That's right. It's a, you know. This truth shall set you free, man. The truth. This is this is this is where you get uh uh you get rest because you know that okay, well shit. Let me forget about all my troubles. Let me forget about everything I've been through. Everything. Let's, let me let me focus on the Lord because I know the Lord. He said He's coming with healing the wings. He said He's going He's going to lift me up. He's going to give me peace. He's going He's going He's going provide for me, give me my daily bread. You know, you thinking about the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't thinking about this devil going and turning into this damn devil, man. You turn into your how about shy, man. Right, bro. Mm -hmm. You know? Who is this devil, man? Yeah, he ain't nothing but a weak ass goddamn nah, dude man. that the Lord created for the day of destruction, man. He's a man. Right, man. He's a man. You know? That's right. It says uh right, bro. um verse it. That last part again in uh, verse oh, 6. Okay, come on. It says, uh, They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Right, they have forgotten their resting place. Uh, go ahead and get that out. Uh, oh. Jeremiah, 2. Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. Mm -hmm. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, <clears throat> broken cisterns that cannot hold no water. Right, right. And that's them other philosophies, man. That the, yeah. that our people was uh call themselves holding themselves up with. Okay? Yeah, right. Bro. It says they're broken cistern. A cistern is something that you can hold water in, mm -hmm. you know? And and it says that uh they, they hold in broken cisterns, you know? Right. Nothing that can <clears throat> hold water. It's all it's seeping through. You leaking, man. Okay? The Lord said that He is the, He is the fountain of uh, of living waters, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Second Thessalonians chapter uh, one verse seven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us, when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with His mighty angels. That's right. And our people is the one that's troubled, man. Okay. The Israelites, we're, we're troubled here. The Lord said, "If you troubled, hey, rest with us. Rest in His word." Okay, this is gonna give you peace, peace of mind. Okay, yeah. until Yahweh Shah returns, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, this is what's what's holding us brothers up, man. 
You know, like how it says, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. They have no structure. This is what's giving us structure and what's holding us up. That's right. You know what I mean? Us keeping us strong, keep giving us hope, man. Right. Okay? This is our, 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 our strength, man. Yeah, That's right. right, man. Yeah. It's uh, Matthew 25. It says, These twelve Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, mm -hmm. and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Mm -hmm. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, all right? Because our Lord knew that we were going to be uh, lost sheep, okay, at the time, you know, when he was on the scene. Yeah, bro. Okay? Like, so I'll be reading Jeremiah uh, 50 and 6. All right, Yahweh Shai said the same thing. Yeah. Okay, we are uh, lost sheep, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what we're teaching this word for, okay? That's it. For the, lost, the, for the elect, okay? You yeah, know, bro. which were uh, lost sheep, okay? But we're gathering, you know, through the word, all right, them unto uh, gathered saints. You know, I got 57. Mm -hmm. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Yahweh Shai. Ignore that scripture, there, yeah. bro. Man, that's a cut right there. That's a cut. This is from the Lord Himself. Man, yeah, that's bro. Cut. Man. Letters. You know? I got a quick one. Huh. It's from the comment board, uh, the brother uh, Parathon. Hey, shalom to your brother. Hey, shalom to your brother, man. Shalom to your brother, It's uh, Matthew uh, uh, 11 and 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Bring your stress. Yeah, how was Sean speaking again? Like all right, <laughs> <laughs> all right. And we're, we're heavy oh, laden here, man. Okay. No, that was one. How was Sean said, "Come oh, unto me, and I will give you rest. And I will give you rest." You know, and that's the rest of the mind. Okay. Oh, the only one to give you rest is the Lord. That's it. You know what I'm saying? He can't give rest in Esau or, you know, the things of the world, man. Yeah. You know, the Lord said, I'll read it again. It says, this Matthew 11 and 28, beautiful scripture, brother. You got to go says, up a little bit. Oh, you're on the thing, huh? Come. Yeah, come. I think, yeah, verse 27. Yeah, come. Well, shit, I, you know. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, because I'm thinking about all these celebrities. You. I think I was yeah. reading something earlier. Which one? It said, uh, you know, just, you know, about these entertainers. It said that uh, Charles Barkley, when he was going, he was thinking about retiring from television. You know what I mean? He ain't got no rest. Uh, he saw he saw him work his ass to his old age <laughs> because he he made a league yeah. going all the way back. Yeah, that right. he has to stick to. He has to stick to, man. You know. That's why if you see uh um that motherfucker Shaq, big ass, he like the frost that um ring that he has. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. yeah. Right. yeah. 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 he floss every time he get the yeah. chance. He floss it. Right. Mm -hmm. Charles right. Barkley is in the same um same, same, same type thing. of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He ain't getting no rest, you know? What do you think happened to R. Kelly? You think R. Kelly just went down because uh, he was doing that stuff that they, they put him on charges on? No, if he would have stuck to the script and did what they were saying, he wouldn't even be where he at. He get to the, you get to the point, you get tired, you're a Jake. You get tired of that shit, man. Yeah. You would have, you just going to deal with whatever consequences come. And that's so what happened. Said, he said that on the iWish video. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to do that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jake's. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, when he was spinning that verse, people ain't even hearing him. They just like the song. Right, right. He was pouring his heart how out. He was pouring his heart out, bro. He just like how it sounds. It's like how it sounds, bro. Like sound, bro. That's a crazy up. ass verse. He covered it up with that. Fiesta, fiesta. You know what I mean? See? Hey, going to uh, Matthew. But 28 was a good start. But I, I read 27. It says, It's a build up. It's uh, Matthew 11 and 27. It says, All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man, man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Mm -hmm. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Man, that's beautiful scripture. Right? Man, bro, it's so on point. Man. It says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Right, learn of the Lord, man, all right? Because the Lord said he's come in the volume of the book, man, okay? Learn about your history, mm -hmm. how we was going into our inheritance, our heritage. Learn about that, man, okay? This is what's going to give you that 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 uh, that life, that, that rest, you know, in, yeah, your, in your mind, man.
Okay? Because if you do, try to do it Esau way, you're going to work yourself to death, man. You know, you're going to be through, bro. You're going to be through. And our people are through who won't have this word, man. You know? Yep. <clears throat> it says, Why well, I'm meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. There you go. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Woo! Hey, man, the Lord has given us rest, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual That's rest. the only one that could give us rest, man. Yep. That's right, Lord. The Lord. That's it. That's, That's it. The Ooh. scripture is, is, is plain. And this is Yahweh Shai talking, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, eight. Nah, 16. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he he gonna, gonna, <laughs> that physical rest, too. I got you. In the yeah. kingdom. You know, yeah. We're going to get that physical that rest. That physical rest. You know? Like it says, how we gonna wake up singing upon our beds? Bro, I was right. just thinking that. Bro, that's the spirit, bro. <laughs> you was thinking that. No, I was just oh. no. And now, he, now he said it. I was like, hey, that's the spirit. You yeah. know, that's that rest, man. I, I, I was just thinking, rest. bro. I was like, we gonna be singing loud upon our beds, but you said it, bro. Yeah, that's that that's that rest. That's what Jake wants, man. You know, you got one right. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, this is Isaiah fourteen and thirteen, or three. 14 and 3. Yeah. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord I shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage yeah. wherein thou was made to serve. Man, what we reading from now? Isaiah 14. Can you read it again? It's Isaiah 14 and uh, 3. Man, you're going that chapter out. <laughs> and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow mm -hmm. and from thy fear right. and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Man, sorrow. Fear and hard bondage, man. The Lord said He gonna give us rest from all that, man. Yeah. And we still dealing with sorrow to this day. Oh yeah. Okay. Fear. Our people are uh, fearful. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And, when, uh, and one thing they they fear, okay, is, is the fear of death. Yeah. You know what I mean? Esau dragged that over them head. That's all you see on the television. You know, you turn on CNN. You know, I don't know if they still talking about this plan Plan D. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's what they had hanging over your head. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're gonna they, they, they they come with a, yeah. another one. Yeah, yeah. They, they only live once, man. That's what it is. Right. And what video our brother put out a little earlier, where uh, now you can't even say stuff. Yeah. Like I want to tell y'all, but I can't even tell y'all. It gotta be all coded out and shit. We gotta code yeah, it. right. You can't well, say it's nothing, nothing anymore, man. man. You can't say nothing. I can't even explain what I seen earlier. Yeah. But um. I got one quick one. Right? This is uh, John 16 and 33. Yeah, you got it? It says, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. Mm -hmm. In the world ye should have tribulation. That's that rest. That's, That's that comfort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So, Yahweh Shah is letting you know for sure that, look, I've already been there, done that. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 uh, the story of the footprints in the sand. I've already been there, done that. Somebody's already been here before your ass. You know what I'm saying? But check it out. The, the Lord is telling you, look, we're going to go through it, but as long as you stick to the Yahweh Shai, you're going to have peace. You're going to know what the peace is that you're going to know what's going on. You're going to know what the fuck to do, how to move. You're going to have the brothers as a connection to help you. You know who's in control. You know who's in control. And whatever else you can think of to add to that. Basically, you just know your how about you know Shai is with you with that. You know the future, thing. man. That's right. You know the future, yeah, bro. You know? Everybody we know the end of all of this, man. We know that the, the righteous is going to get the W. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Shit, you know? You just got to have faith in that. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Huh. Yeah. Huh. You know that up? Yeah, was it? Uh, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 15. And deliver them who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Right, right. Yeah. This, uh, you know, what I had quoted earlier, man. This is what our people are dealing with, uh, uh, that that fear of death, all right? And that's why they're subject unto bondage, you know? Mm -hmm. that's, that's why they get their ass in line. That's right. That's why they're going, you know, two-thirds of our people, they're going to take the MOTB, mm -hmm. okay? Because of the fear that the devil's going to hang the fear of death over you. Mm -hmm. You know, the, you unknown. Gonna, the unknown. Yeah, ain't gonna the unknown. You ain't going to be able to, uh, to eat. Wow. You ain't going to be able to... Uh, go to the grocery store no more and feed little Ray Ray and Jose. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if you don't have that faith, that's what you're going to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> that's why we come to, you know, we spread this hope, you know, and this faith of Yahweh Bashim al Bashai and letting you know, look, the Lord has a way. You know what I mean? And He's going to perform miracles on the behalf of His elect. Man. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> we ain't got to so, worry about 
uh, uh, death, okay? Because yeah. we understand death. That's it. There's no death. There's no death. The Lord got the victory over death. That's right. Yeah, that's right. right. That's that's it, bro. So what, is, what is death? See, people think it's going to be an end to your spirit. It don't end to your spirit. Right, man. You know? You're just going to be in the spirit world, man. That's it. You know, you're going to go back to the Father, man. That's you right. Know? And hey, that's, it's, it's rest. You know what I'm saying? It's really rest when you when you uh pass. Pass. Yeah, it's rest, bro. Let's say even yes. even the wicked rest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, remember um wicked king Saul uh yeah. went and woke up Samuel. What did Samuel say first? Yeah. Why thou disquietest me? Yeah. Why you just disquiet me? You right. probably before, man. I'm done with that <laughs> shit down there. <near. laughs> and right. hey, you are no longer my problem, G. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm I can tell you this, though. <laughs> you gonna be up here with me tomorrow. Tomorrow. You and your son. You and your son. Crazy, bro. He told him he was gonna go out, but he didn't tell him how he was gonna go out. He told him how. He told him how. And, you know. Woo. Imagine man. hearing that, though, because, it, you know, you imagine hearing that you're gonna die. I'm not saying that you did. I'm, yeah, I'm no, talking. No, I'm no, facing you. No, no, I know you. Talk. But you know, you know, tomorrow somebody tell you you out of there, yeah, right? And right. you living today though, and you got it through <laughs> a wicked act, <laughs> right, bro? You banned all the witches, but you went to a witch and it was told, you know, you man, know your man, mind, man. You all fucked up. That's crucial. He knew. He knew he was gonna have to go to war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, he already knew. <laughs> yeah, the Lord said, "The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death." Yeah. So Israelites will never know what it's like to be dead <laughs> in the spiritual world, sleeping, doing nothing. Well, really, the dead is talking about Esau, bro. Yeah. And Esau too. Yeah. yeah. The last enemy destroyed. The, the, he is dead. He, yeah, that that is death. The second chapter he says, is as death. "He is as death." Yes. Yes. He's yes. the last. Component before uh, <coughs> the kingdom starts. Yeah. Mm. He's the lad. He's a motherfucking like. In a, he's in the a way. in a way. While we all running towards him, he like just trying to block us. You know. Right. Oh, okay. That's what he's trying to do. Shit. Yeah. All weapons and shit. Yeah. Trying to. You know. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. I got a couple precepts going back to the topic. But yeah. also too, bro, in the spirit, we ain't gonna die no more. Yeah. So you are. It, it's like kind of twofold. We ain't gonna die no more. Yeah. Well, death. Where's that sting? Yeah. Where's that sting? Uh, uh, we're gonna be immortals, which means uh, not 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 able to die, yeah. not right. death. You know, right. right now we're mortal. You know, <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's it is twofold. Death. It's definitely yeah. like a twofold sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is uh, Second uh, Peter, no First Peter two, and uh, get straight to the point twenty five. For you, were, for you were as sheep going astray, mm -hmm. but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Right, man. Talking about our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. All right. We are now returned because we were all sheep going astray, man. Okay. So, hey, Kaulai Yahweh Shai for that. Right. It makes it easier for us to understand, you know, the letters that Paul wrote, man. Right. You know, dealing in that time. You know, we all come from that Gentile, Gentile state. Yeah. You know, we all lost it and had to get it back, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we read in these accounts, you know, we it's, it's our lives, you know? Yeah. Pretty much. That's mm right. -hmm. I got a piece of art. Yeah. It's uh, Baruch 2, and um, started uh, 27. O oh Lord, our power, thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness, and according to all that great mercy of thine, as thou spakest by the servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him, to write that law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivity they shall it remember themselves, themselves and shall know that I am the Lord, their power, Yahweh Shai, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. Woo! And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Right, and that heart and the Man. ears, that's that's a spiritual uh, heart and ears right there. Yeah, right? yeah. You know? Because your heart life entered back into that. That's right, man. Yeah. The heart is your mind, okay? You know? So the Lord uh, breathed in us, like the brother said, that breath of life. Into us, man. You know, mm -hmm. the spirit on us a sequel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A whole batch of jakes in this time, you know, especially after 07. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Lord put the spirit on us a sequel. Yeah, bro. That's you know what I'm saying? Called us out of all the bullshit we was tied into, yanked us out of that, you know, and, and put us on the right path, man. Right. 
No. It, it's kind of crazy too, because it said in the land of their captivity, yeah. they right. should remember themselves. Showing you the time. Yeah. <clears throat> it's short, it, it made me think of uh, Sirach 11 and 25. It says, in the day of prosperity, there's a forgiveness of affliction. Mm -hmm. In the day of affliction, there's no remembrance of prosperity. Mm -hmm. How we had to come to remember who we were was we had to get fucked up. Oh, yeah, right. In the land of our captivities, we had to remember what the fuck we really here for and what the hell we need to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like the title say, bro, from um, lost sheep to gathered saints. To gathered saints. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, the Lord, I said, look, man, you know, like, um, they had that saying in the world, um, you don't know, like, the appreciation of a thing until you lose it. Until right. You, lose you don't know what's right. Yeah. yeah. You I forget how it go. You don't know what you got until it's gone. Until yeah. it's gone. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's what we, that's what we experiencing right now. Yeah, we learn we learn the lesson. Yes, right. That we need our power, y'all. By shot. That's right. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck are we without our Lord, man? Nothing. You know, we need the Lord in every way. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John chapter ten and eleven. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Right, that's a good shot. Huh? Yeah. That's right. That's a hot one. That's hot right there. <laughs> yeah, like King David was a good shepherd, right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he went and fought up lions, bears, for the sheep. Yeah, you know? yeah, bro. He would put he his life in his life. Yep. Yeah, bro. Come on. And a good shepherd makes sure his sheep stay alive. A bad shepherd scatters his sheep. That's right. So Highly. They, so they can go abroad and be killed by an animal. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, yeah, that's on yeah. point. Like you talk about the uh, if a person have a uh, like a hundred sheep, sheep, and he lose one, yeah. he's gonna he gonna basically step out of his element for, for that one, one, for that one sheep, just for one of them. Yeah. But he got ninety nine more wherever he have them stored at. Right. But for that one, he gonna go out of his. He gonna make sure to get it back, and it shows you mm -hmm. a person who really care for the sheep. Yeah. Because yeah. only one made him. You know, start mm -hmm. getting to it like, man, I gotta do what I gotta do to get the sheep back. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. a man with wisdom would know that that sheep could produce more sheep. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I believe, yeah, Yahweh Shai spoke about that as well. Like, well, the man on the Sabbath day go get his lost sheep. Yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. You, know? Yeah. you know, he, yeah, yeah. he gonna go get him. He gonna yeah. go, <laughs> bro, because, man, just like I know y'all brothers heard the same thing I heard from elementary school. Nobody get left behind. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. that's, that's a point. that's a saying that you hear from the world. I remember hearing it from elementary school, uh, but they say no student get left behind, right. and everybody had to be on the same level with whatever they do curriculum mm -hmm. they was teaching. But that's a real saying that I've heard outside of uh, just school. No man left behind. Yeah, mm -hmm. that and was, that's a real shepherd for you. Yeah, that was uh, uh, that scripture. That was Woody's. Uh, yeah, Marcy. 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 Yeah. No, no choice. Woody is my bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He showed. Hey, that's why Woody was the leader. Yeah, because he, he was, was the leader. The last one was with Forky. Yeah, yeah. You know he didn't want to leave Forky behind. Yes, yeah, you know about yeah. it. I, and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it's a cartoon, <laughs> but it was still spiritual. It's spiritual. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't know about. He's gonna start talking about. Yeah, Toy uh, Story. Now, nah, Woody definitely has that uh, leader uh, spirit. He has integrity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 637. Yeah, I got uh, two more scriptures, uh, brothers. Uh, if y'all brothers have something. Yeah, I got one. Come. But uh, you go. I don't know if you want it. You want this one or whatever. Well, you can you drop your pre. Okay. This uh, John chapter ten, verse uh, eleven. It says, I am the good shepherd. That's right. 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 You know what, bro? I thought this was something different. No, I'm sorry. It says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Mm hmm. And prove in the spirit and in the scripts that we are the sheep. That's right, man. You know, the Israelites. Who else is going to be? Hey, read the 14th verse. Huh? Read the 14th verse. Yeah, I was looking for the one. No man plucked them out of my hand. That's what I really was looking That's for. That's John 10. Yeah, 27, John 28, 29. 29. But what, what you want me to read out? 28, though? You said? I'm saying the fuck out of my hand. Like 28, 29. Okay. Yeah. And which one? You want me to read 14, Doc? You yeah. said uh, verse, verse 14 says, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep. I am known of mine. Yeah, and then twenty, yeah, uh, twenty nine. It says, "My Father, which gave them me, 
is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Right. Wow. That's the one I'm looking for. It is now. impossible, okay, to, to pluck the elect. All right? Mm -hmm. Nothing Lord. shall separate us. There you go. Nothing. Nothing, you know? Yeah. And the Lord wasn't playing when he said that. Mm -hmm. nah. So um, let's get uh, group. Uh, this brother got it. Uh, 4 and 36 and 37 in uh, Revelation uh, chapter 5, verse 1. Baruch chapter 4, verse 36. O Jerusalem, look about thee towards the east. Right, and Jerusalem is talking about Israel, okay? Because we're uh, people. Just right. We're people before it's a place, okay? <clears throat> right now. O Jerusalem, look about thee towards the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from mm. Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Yeah, that's right. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. Right, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. Okay, because we were sent away, like I was reading in um, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, mm -hmm. you know, how uh, the curse fell upon us that we was going to serve our enemies on a strange land that we know it's not, okay, and uh, go to him for the one of all things. Yeah. Okay, so we were sent us away. Go ahead, huh? They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One. Right, so now we come gathered together from the east to the uh -huh. west, okay, by the word of of Yahweh by Shemiah This That's is what's right. this is what's gathered us brothers. That's right. right. Us brothers here, us brothers all around the world. You brothers on the comment board, you know, you sisters out there. Yeah. We're all gathered by the word, man. All, all walks right. of life. All walks of life, yeah. man. You know, and this is what Esau is afraid of. That's right. You know, because we all on one accord through the scriptures, man. That third temple. You know, that third temple is being built, man. You know? Yeah, bro. And each brother is a brick. Okay? And we're gonna hey. Through the spirit of the Lord, we're gonna tear this devil down, man. That's our, it. Through our Lord Yahweh Shai first, it. man. Okay. All right, bro. All right, huh? And it says, they come together, uh, gather together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right, rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, because the Lord is gonna get His glory. Okay, you know, this devil is gonna get put down, and him getting put down is gonna. Uh, glorify Yahweh by Shemel Shah, okay? Because he's the one who's going to take this man out, man, okay? And establish the kingdom of Israel, all right? And could I say something? Mm -hmm. What's also glorious is that the Lord is gathering all of us. We speak different languages, different backgrounds. Yeah, and Jake's were in a Gentile state of mind, you know, who was all out there doing whatever we was doing. And the Lord is gathering all type of life, all different walks together. Yeah, that's right. I got some glory. That's amazing. It's uh, Psalm 15 21. These things hast thou done. I was thinking of this, to add this too. Yeah. yeah. And I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. I told about this yeah. devil, man. You know, he thought that the Lord was with him, you know, because he was doing what he's doing, had us in subjection, mm -hmm. you know, but it was all prophecy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, huh? It says, But I will reprove thee. And set them in order before thine eyes. Right. So you getting reproved, okay? Yeah, and and we are getting set in order. All the brothers around the world, across the world, we're we're getting set in order through the Lord's word, okay? And this is what they before their eyes. Before their eyes, and that's why they ain't fear, man. That's it. You know? Yep. The exceeding army. Right. Yep. That was it, man. Yeah, you want Revelation 5? Yeah, Revelation 5 and um top. Yeah, uh and you can end that verse 5. Okay, because yeah. it's it's because of the Lord that that we have this knowledge and that uh we're, we're gathered together, man. Yeah, right? Yeah, right. As right. saints, man. Okay. Say because of the word. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh Revelation 5 and 1. And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. Mm-hmm. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who was worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. Right, because at one point this, this knowledge was sealed, you know? I don't know if uh, any brother know that precept is in uh, Daniel. Daniel? I think, uh, Daniel? Is it, is it Which one? No, what, what does it say, though? What it said, uh, Daniel oh, yeah, sealed, sealed up the sealed book. book. Yeah, yeah. The, the 12th chapter, I believe. Come, huh. you know? Because at one point, you know, the, the knowledge was sealed. Right. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I got it right here. Huh. It said uh, Daniel's 12 and 9. It says, and he said, go that way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. To the time of the end, man. Mm. You know? Right, uh, you know, when the, um, uh, 
was before the law came. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. This is about roughly about um, one thousand six hundred years before Yahweh Shah came on the scene. Kind of. Because Ezra came on the scene in the, the time of the Persians and the Medes mm -hmm. was five hundred years before Yahweh Shah came. I mean, uh, yep, five hundred years. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, you know, sorry. No, no, I was, yeah, no, I was thinking. Um, you know, I was business, you know, you know I'm sorry, 600, bro. I yeah. said 1,000. Just 600 uh, years. Yeah. Yeah. That was it? Yeah, that was, uh, uh, no, it said, uh, and he said, go that way, Daniel, but the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Many should be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Right, right. That's that's the time we're in now, you know. Many right. shall be purified, Amen. okay, and made white and tried. Okay, yeah, we're white men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? That's why I said Yahweh was on uh, uh the white the horse. Yeah, yeah. Right. Horse. pure. Pure, bro. Oh, yeah, we the white we pure the real power. White people, man. Pure man. white horse, pure power, man. Come on, man. Abba shit, man. That's talking about Yahweh Shah. Yeah, man. Uh, going back to Revelation 5 and 3, it says, And no man in heaven, nor on earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Mm -hmm. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. That's right. So that's that's talking about Yahweh Shah. He was the yeah. one that was worthy to open the book and and bring uh, back the understanding, okay? And, um, you know, have us worship him and bring us back to, uh, you know, Yahweh, okay? Because we can't go straight to the Father, you know? We got to go through the Son, okay? And he the one that opened up the, the understanding, you know? So wait, without, without Yahweh Shah, we wouldn't even have this understanding, you know? We wouldn't be gathered together, mm -hmm. you know? Right, I appreciate that, Bob. This is Second uh, Edward 6 and uh, 28. As for faith, it shall flourish, mm -hmm. corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit uh, shall be declared. That's right. Say it, bro. Say it, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's the time mm -hmm. we in now, man. You know? You know, through the act of the house shot being that sacrifice. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, man. Yeah. So um got anything else? That's it. That's it, man. So hey, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you brothers out there. Uh, from lost sheep to gathered saints, man, you know, and the Lord has gathered us through his word, you know, and, you know, Lord willing, we can, you know, hold on to it, like it says in Revelation, you know, until the very end, right. okay, um, so, you know, with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, you know, we want to close it out by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekai Kodash. I want to say, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahushai, Barakatah Yahushai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahushai, 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 Barakatah Yahushai. All right, double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who taught us his word. Watch out among the audio girls out there that's teaching his word truth sincerely. Stay up, brothers. Shalom, brothers. Shalom.